The Fatel S179 handheld core alignment fusion splicer offers powerful performance, delivering fast and reliable optical fiber splicing even under harsh environmental conditions. A large capacity battery system helps save time by allowing 200 splicing cycles in one charge. The Fatel S179 Fusion Splicer has a 4.3-inch wide LCD screen with touch panels that offer easy and intuitive operation. And it is compatible with splice-on connectors, including the Cheetah and Armadillo splice-on connectors from FIS. Remember, before using a fiber optic fusion splicer, you must perform an arc calibration. The video link will be in description below. Before terminating splice-on connectors, make sure to turn off the proof test or tension test on the splicer. For the Fitel S179, go to the menu, then Settings, scroll down to Tension Test on the splicer and change the setting. Make sure it is set to Off. Go back to the menu, select the Fusion program, for this termination, single mode to single mode fiber will be spliced. Select single mode to single mode. Next, adjust the heater mode to the size of the splice sleeve that is being used. For this termination, a 900 micron splice on connector is being performed. Now the machine is set up for single mode and a mini splice sleeve. Take the FIS Splice-On Connector Blister Pack and turn it upside down. Fold in half and open it from the back. In the pack there is the Splice-On Connector with Cleave Protector, 27mm Splice Sleeve, the Custom 900 Micron Boot, and the SC External Housing. Take the field fiber and assemble the back of the connector. First, slide the 900 micron boot, then slide the 27 millimeter splice sleeve. Take the tri-hole stripper and strip the 900 micron jacket. Strip a quarter of an inch at a time, so you don't run the risk of breaking the glass. After removing the 900 micron jacket, use the 250 micron slot of the stripper and remove the acrylate coating. To clean the fiber, use 99% isopropyl alcohol and a low lint wipe. Take the 900 micron fiber holder and with the fiber curling bending down, place the fiber into the groove right up to the end of the fiber holder. Take the cleaver, open, then place the fiber holder into the cleaver. Close to cleave the fiber. Next, take the cleaved fiber that is in the holder and place it into the splicer. Notice, the fiber is past the blue pad of the V-groove, but not extended far enough to the electrodes. On the other side of the splicer, use the FIS splice-on connector holder. Take the dust cap off, remove the cleave protector, and lay the SOC in the connector holder. Once again, both fibers are past the blue pad of the V-grooves, but are not extended far enough to the electrodes. Close lid and press the green play button. After the splice, the splicer will give you an estimated splice loss. When splice is complete, open the lid, open the cover of the fiber holder and gently pull the fiber right out of the splicer. Next, slide down the splice sleeve so it grabs both sides of the 900 micron tight buffer and place it into the oven. The red light indicates that the oven is melting the splice sleeve.
The timer here indicates the heating method. Make sure you have an even melt along the splice sleeve prior to sliding the boot up. Slide the boot up over to the back body of the connector. Take your SE housing, match up the keyways and slide it on. An audible click should be heard. Put the dust cap on. The termination of the FIS 900 Micron Cheetah Splice On Connector is now complete. To purchase any of the products used in this video, contact Fiber Instrument Sales at 1-800-500-0347 or go to our website at fiberinstrumentsales.com. Subscribe to our channel for new videos.